My name is Bill Kokonis. I am the Executive Director for the Rhode Island Chapter of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And I can't say thank you enough for, uh, for all of you being here this evening, um, for what the candidates have done, why, why you are all here this evening, uh, over the last 10 weeks. Uh, it's been truly amazing. And tonight is the celebration. Tonight is the end, uh, the culmination of that 10 weeks. And uh, we want you all to have a lot of fun. I know the candidates are on the edge of their seats. Um, I have a big, huge number in my head that we can't wait to share um, because it's truly phenomenal. So thank you for being part of this campaign. I want to take a few minutes to tell those of you that are here that don't know about the Man and Woman of the Year campaign. It's a 10-week fundraising campaign with a specific beginning and a specific end. These candidates tonight have worked their tails off. Uh, we pick people who are philanthropic, community um, organized, driven, energetic to run this campaign. All of the funds support the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society in their mission to cure leukemia, lymphoma, Hodgkin's disease, and myeloma, and to improve the quality of life for patients and their families. I ran, actually, uh, ran for Man and Woman of the Year for two years, and now I am in charge of the nominating committee. And basically, our job on the nominating committee is to find excellent candidates. And the first thing I can say about all the candidates here is the energy in the room, the competitiveness and the excitement on everything we had. I haven't seen anything like that. Um, and I'm thankful I didn't have to run when you guys were running because I would have got smoked. Um, so, uh, you guys did a great job. With my diagnosis and my mom's untimely death, I've changed the course of my life. I love being on this bandwagon with each and every one of you. We will raise money and we will raise a, uh, awareness of these diseases. We will help find a cure and then we will assure access, ensure access to these cures. Cancer ends with me, guys. Thank you. We want to welcome into the room Richard A. Cecito. He's from GlaxoSmithKline, which sounds very important, but more importantly, he's a comedian at night. He's scored by no other than Beautiful Girl of the Year, Georgia! Yeah. Yeah. Next, we'd like to introduce Nicole Pugin from Inflecting Ink Tattoo and Michael Grossi of the Matthew Financial Group. They are escorted by our very handsome looking boy of the year, Cameron! beautiful woman here who's worked so hard. Amy Diaz is the 2008 Miss USA, and more importantly, the 2009 Miss Earth. Woo! Alongside the best guys, Isaiah Jr. from Roger Williams Medical Center. Bring them in, everybody! Bring them in! Woo! Let's welcome next to the room, Bethany DiPetrillo from Raise the Bar Nutrition, escorted by Brewer Row from the Newport International Tennis Hall. to if not we exceeded four hundred thousand dollars. Wow. This happens. It's happening to be played over there in the corner. 
Get that going. We're going to start with our... Then we'll, we'll, we'll bring it up in a second. All right, Mark, go ahead. You want to start with our 2014 runner-up for Woman of the Year. Our runner-up this year, runner-up, raised $82,547.28. Wow. wow. Our 2014 runner-up this year, Amy Diaz. I, I'm incredibly thrilled and honored to uh, to be here and to be competing against all of these wonderful women and of course the men here. For me, this entire campaign was about our team and the mission, so I am thrilled for the second year in a row to receive the mission award for the Man and Woman of the Year campaign. I'm going to put my trophy down. And by the way, this is for Team Cures. You guys rock. This is not me. This is all of you. So the runner-up for the um, for the uh, man of the year, wow, uh, raising uh, forty-two thousand four hundred ninety-one dollars, just incredible! Big round of applause for Billy Terrell. Tonight, I think I have uh, 72 guests, which is great. Thank you very much. Uh, this really means a lot to me, and uh, you know, in the end of it, it, it wasn't whether I won or lose, or won, whether I won or I, I lost. It was about knowing that I'm making a difference, whether it's now or in the future, and that's that's what means it to me. So, support of the company that I work for, Alex and Ani. Thank you. Billy, way to go. It's time to announce the 2014 Man of the Year. Man of the Year this year has raised an outstanding $89,436.25. So congratulations to our Man of the Year, Brewer Row. Curse with my grandmother's ability to cry instantaneously. I uh, was giving a speech, so I had to prepare something. Otherwise, the speech might resemble something in the aftermath of a natural disaster, rather than a celebratory occasion, which we're all here for. Um, it's truly unbelievable that I'm standing here uh, before you guys as the man of the year. But I'd be lying to myself and to all of you if I continued to stand up here alone, accepting this honor. I know it's a cliche to say, but behind every good man stands a great woman. In the case of In the case of my campaign, I'm not here without my wife, Abby. Her dedication, it is all about everybody in this room. It's not about me. I mean, it's, yes, I asked more people or did whatever to raise more money, but people were generous. So all of you guys need to give yourself a round of applause and thank you guys for doing what you do. So. You know, the 2014 Woman of the Year competition truly has been an amazing one. The Woman of the Year has given so much to the campaign and certainly gone above and beyond her efforts. Our winner has raised an outstanding $113,000 and $9,000. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear from our 2014 Woman of the Year, Amanda Lamarco! So once again, 
Thank you all so much to my team. I gotta give a special shout out to campaign manager Bridget D'Antonio, who was the brain and power behind many of our fundraisers. Can you all please raise your glasses and say with me, everyone wins when cancer loses? Because it's so cliche, but it's so true. Everyone wins when cancer loses. Thank you.